Hello everyone and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat and this session will go over a CPA simulation or this information could be tested in a multiple choice question. So to simply put this as an exercise. The exercise specifically is about LCM, lower of cost or market, something you need to be familiar with when it comes to the CPA exam. LCM is based on conservatism and accounting and basically what we need to know is when your inventory loses value, you loses utility. What's going to happen is you have to take a loss. You have to report your inventory at something called lower of cost or market. So we have to choose between the cost or the market. Now why? Well, we have to write it down. This way our inventory is not inflated. Well, why would our inventory be inflated? Well, because we purchased something, for example, for $100. This is, when we pay, this is what we actually paid for it. Today, the same item is $70. You can replace it at $70. Although you have not sold this item, it lost utility. Therefore, you have to report it at lower of cost or market. But the trick is to know how to determine the market. The cost is easy. The cost, how much you paid for the item. How to determine the market. And this is what we would learn in this simulation exercise. Or you could see this in a multiple choice on the CPA exam. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with product A, the cost is $64. So immediately if the cost is $64, you know your cost is something that we need to determine. Immediately you would say my cost is $64. So we already kind of filled in the cost section. Now we have to determine the market. What goes under the market? Because we have to choose between the cost or the market. Well, when it comes to the market, we have to look at three different things. One two, three. We have to look at the net realizable value of the asset. And what's the net realizable value? Now in this exercise, I'm giving you the net realizable value, but it's sales minus cost to sell the item. So sale, then they will tell you selling cost, commission cost is such and such. Here I'm giving you the NRV, which is easy. So the, the, uh, the NRV for this exercise is how much? The NRV is $61. And the NRV is the ceiling. You cannot report your inventory more the en more what you can get for it, for sure. So if we happen to choose NRV as a as the market, well, it, we cannot report the inventory more than NRV. So sixty one is the NRV. Uh, the NRV NRV minus the profit NRV minus the profit. We call this the floor. Well, if we take NRV, NRV is 61 minus the profit of 10 will give us 51. Now we still have to determine what's the replacement cost. If you want to go out and buy it, the replacement cost is 50. You have to determine those three figures. The NRV, hopefully it's given to you. Otherwise, they might give you sales and cost to sell. You determine this amount. So the inventory in any way, shape or form cannot be reported above this number. It cannot be reported below this number. The NRV minus the profit is we call the floor. It cannot be reported below the floor. And the replacement cost, and let, look at this example. Awesome. The replacement cost here is below the floor. 50 is below the floor. Well, guess what? We cannot report below the floor. Therefore, 50 is here. Okay. I don't want you to think replacement cost in the middle. Just ha replacement cost is 50, but happens to be below the floor. Therefore, definitely we're not going to use the replacement cost because it's below the floor. Now, what we do between those three figures, between those three figures, 50, 51, and 61, we choose the one in the middle. We choose the one in the middle. So between 61, 50, and 51, which one in the middle? The one in the middle is 51. Therefore, what we need to do, we need to compare 64 to which figure? To 51. So when we report the inventory, do we report product A at 64 or 51? We report the inventory at 60. 
one. So let me show you the numbers once again and how I came up with each number separately. So you see how you come up with this. So obviously NRV, luckily it's given to us. NRV is 61. So NRV is, let me just clean this up. Cut this stuff out. So this is an RV that's given to that's given. If not given, you have to compute. The replacement is giving. And how do we come up with the floor? The floor is 61 net realizable value minus a normal profit of $10 is 51. Therefore, between those three, 51 happens to be the one in the middle, and 51 is our market. Now let's do the same thing for product B. Well, for product B, let's start with NRV. What's the NRV for product B? The NRV is 49. It's right here. NRV is given as 49. What is the replacement cost? Also, the replacement cost is given. The replacement cost is 44. And what's the floor? The floor is the ceiling minus a normal profit, 49 minus 6. 49 minus 6 equal to 43. Now, once again, the cost is always known. As I told you, the cost is for the cost for product A is 43. The cost is 43. Now we're going to compare 43 to the market. What's the market? The market is the number in the middle between those three. Three number. One, two, three. Which one is in the middle? Is it 43, 44, 49? Which one in the middle? Replacement cost in the middle. Happens to be replacement cost. Therefore, 44 is the middle. Now, how do we report this inventory? We report it at 43 or 44. Product B. We report it at 43, the historical cost. Let's take a look at product C. Let's start with historical cost. How much we paid for it? We paid for C $48. That's easy. That should always be given to you. Now we determine NRV. If it's not giving, NRV is given to us. NRV is giving at 44. Net realizable value is 44. Replacement cost is giving at 42. And NRV minus profit, which is the floor, is 38. Between 38 42 and 44 which one which number is in the middle well in the middle means but yeah which number is in the middle well it's 42 in the middle so that's the market now our market is 42 dollars now between 42 and 48 how do we report product c we report product c at 42 and we'll take a six dollar loss obviously now let's take a look at product d again let's start with the easiest one the easiest one is historical cost we paid for it 87 dollars now we look at we determine the market the market is nrv could be nrv which is 80 dollars could be replacement cost which is 82 so nrv uh, replacement cost 82 nrv is 80 and the floor and we cannot report it on below 73 which is 80 minus 70 80 dollars nrv minus the profit which is the floor for 73 now between 73 80 and 82 which which number is in in the middle 73 80 82 the number in the middle is happens to be an rv 80 now we the market for us is 80 we compare 87 to 80 which one is the lower of these two 80 therefore we take a loss of seven should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional resources if you're studying for the CPA exam choose your course provider or if you're studying for your accounting courses take a look at the appropriate accounting course invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe